What is up, guys? It's Razor. And I got some free-to-play rank battle gameplay. Someone asked me to do this, so I said, sure, why not? Seems like it'd be fun to do. And a little bit of a challenge. So I went ahead and made three different te or three teams. And here we go. I'll go ahead and go over them. So I banned... I banned super rares and any other paid ninja. Uh, technically, you could get Roshi for free. Roshi, Han, etc. But I banned them because, yes, they're free to play. You can get them for free, but they two, 200 seal scrolls is a lot. So. I just decided to ban the super rares because of that. Uh, but all these ninjas that I'm using are either rares or free to play. So we got we got Chiriku, who I used the other day in a team, in arena. Uh, Abu Itachi. Um, Chiriku was a free sign-in reward, and Ambu Itachi was a free sign-in reward as well. So they were technically considered free to play. Uh, Orochi Maru, free to play because he's a rare, or he's a rare, but he costs more seals than a regular rare would. But he's still considered a rare. Uh, I think. Uh, I think. For uh, Rochimaru, uh, Sage Nardo, it's not the usual 60 frags. It's like, I think like 80 to 100 or something like that to get them or whatever. Something like that. And then uh, we got Kabuto, who is a rare. And now the reason for this lineup is you have Chiriku triggering Ambu Itachi and Kabuto's 30 hit combo chase. Uh, because Chiriku's uh, mystery does more than 30 hits sometimes. Well, uh, generally it does about uh, 25 or so, but you also get Ambu Itachi adds to the combo. So you do get over 30 hits sometimes. And then of course, the ultimate free to play lineup, the water main meta. You have to have the water main meta. And actually I want to change this lineup to the top up here. And here's the town set I'm running. I'm running uh, Poison Fog Wave, uh, Flowing Whip, Water Dragon Jutsu, Neurotoxin, Neurotoxin, Poison Tie, Lightning Tiger King, and the Ninja Dog. Now the reason for these talents is because you don't want to run the healing in rank battle. It is very unreliable. Uh, very unreliable. Like the AI, if you literally take one point of damage, the AI will heal. And that is very bad. I cannot stress that enough to never use uh, that. It is really bad. So I just want to poison. I guess I could do Shark Bomb. Yeah, I think I'll go with Shark Bomb. Because I'm running Neurotoxin as well, so why not? And since I'm doing that, I guess I'll go to the other Ninja Dog as well. Alright, there we go. Fixed it up a little bit. I'm also... Uh, here's the treasure tools that I've set up. So I have Tintin with the fan because this will boost her damage. And then Mabui has the... 
guard so she has a higher defense since she's in the front row. And then my last final lineup uh, game. It's going to go to maintenance, isn't it? Or no, it's not. Okay. It is Thursday morning, so I might go to maintenance. <laughs> uh, my next lineup is uh, Kushimaru, uh, Jim Pachi, who are rares in the Ido Tensei treasure. <laughs> With Yagra and Sage Nardo. you got to use Sage Nardo if you're going to do uh, free-to-play. I mean, Sage Nardo is one of the best free-to-play ninjas in the game. And there we go, I got Yagra in there as well. So that's my three lineups. That's what I would recommend if you're free to play. What I'd recommend you use. You definitely want the water main meta for sure. Because that's probably the best free to play lineup that you could possibly make. And I like this lineup too because you have the 30 hits. And you also have Orochimaru, which is a very good free-to-play ninja because he turns a free-to-play ninja into Hashirama, who is not free-to-play. So, you can basically turn your free-to-play ninja into a pay-to-win ninja with Orochimaru. And then this lineup, obviously, Kushimaru is really good, of course. And Jinpachi is pretty insane as well. The reason I have Jinpachi Precision 2 is because he likes to get interrupted. Uh, because of Ruka. Uh, whatever else. Acupuncture. Whatever. You name it. He likes to get interrupted. So I put him in Precision 2. So, you don't, so I don't have to worry about him getting interrupted. But anyway, that's my lineups. And let's go ahead and start up some battles here. See if we can get a win. Which may be a challenge because no one's using free to play, let's be honest. Everybody's uh at my current power level, everybody's using pay to win. So it's just how it's gonna be. We might not be able to win, but we'll try. Alright, so I noticed at the top up here it has like single server and uh, merge server. It seems like the single server has uh, weaker opponents. So we're going to go with the uh, single server, obviously. So let's go take on this water main right here. It's still going to be a little bit difficult, but it'll be easier than the merge server. Okay, look at that damage by 10-10. That bottom line is getting wrecked right now. 38 combos. Okay, now Kushina goes off. Targets my water main, or not my water main, but Tin Tin. I like Jiriku in the front row because he's going to keep getting hit and it's going to lower his cooldown every time he gets hit. And then we got Tariku's mystery here. Look at that damage right there. 30 hits. Look at Yagura clone Roshi and Roshi's uh, chase went off. That's why I do recommend uh, Yagura. Yagura. Yagura is really good. For 
whatever reason, Yagura tends to call him the best ninja. I don't know why. I don't know if that's in his AI script or whatever, but he tends to call him the best. Okay, lock down my water main, that's fine. They got Jimpachi. Okay, there goes uh, Awesome Windblade. It's gonna be a close fight. There goes Mei, and his Roshi's almost dead as well. Sage Naruto triggering Roshi's 30 hit combo chase. Okay. Tintin's gonna get revived there. Roshi is almost dead. Come on, finish him off. Nice combo there. Okay, Kimi Maru finishes off Tintin. Here comes Maze Mystery. Gonna do massive damage and ignite everybody. We are having a hard time dealing with his Kushina though. Okay, Chiriku finishes off Kimimaru there. Yeah, this Kushina might solo us. <laughs> I had to ban Kushina as well because you could you could get I got Kushina for free. Oh, with coupons, but. I still put her in the pay to win category. Nice combo there. That bottom row is a good combo as you saw there. Then we got Sage Nardo. May's gonna be re uh, revived there. Tariku goes down. His cushion is almost dead. Oh, she's surviving. Down she goes. And now Orochimaru is going to turn uh, Tariku into Hashirama. And that's pretty much GG. So as you saw here in this battle, my water main meta team went down, uh, which is arguably my best lineup. Uh, but apparently not, since it was the first team to go down. The water main meta may be the weakest link.
Uh, considering it was the first team to go down. Uh, but I'm going to keep it as it is. But this may be the weakest link right here. I thought going in it was going to be the strongest team. Uh, but apparently not. Alright, so we're back uh, on the single server. Let's tra challenge this person right here. Now, this is going to be pretty difficult though. He has a lot of pay to win as you can tell. They started a combo on uh, Shisui over there. This is probably going to be impossible to win. Because this guy's got like all the pay to win. I think I have more power than him though. Okay, here comes Ash Renardo. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, here comes May. Nice combo there. Nice combo hit by him too though, holy crap. This would be so epic if we can win, I don't think we're going to be able to though. Like could you imagine a free to play lineup beating a pay to win? I don't think I'm going to win though. I don't think there's any chance to win this battle. I might get lucky though. We'll see how it goes. He's got too many ninjas that are immune to uh, debuffs. And plus he has Ashi Renardo. Ugh. Absolutely disgusting. I bet we'd be able to win if he didn't have Ashi Renardo though. I mean Ambu Itachi is, or not Ambu Itachi, but uh... Susano Itachi is insane, but uh, Ashura Naruto is just way better than Ambu, way better than Susano Itachi. Like we'll, we'll eventually beat Susano Itachi, but uh, beating Ashura Naruto is really hard. Like, I'm not even joking. Uh, I'm Ashura and Article probably solo my whole entire ranked battle team. And I'm serious about that. I'm not, I'm not messing around. 
But we're doing very good considering this is all pay to win on that side. Like, look at all that pay to win. I guess a lot of pay to win, guys. Astronardo's just too good. Take out Tendo. He's almost gone. All right, good. Come on, it's pull up an upset. We're not. It's not gonna happen, but it'd be nice. Ah. Yeah, GG. It was close though. We didn't get blown out of the water. And that's a lot of pay to win, so I don't mind losing to that team. We put up a heck of a fight though. But like I said, Oscar Ronaldo. If he didn't have Oscar Ronaldo, we would have won. So everybody else is too powerful right now. I guess we could try this person on merge server, I guess. I don't know if I'll be able to beat him. We'll give it a try, though. He's running Tendo. Yeah, start with the combo on Tariku. He's just running a bunch of AoE. Yeah, Tindo's insane. Nice combo there. I don't think it's going to really matter though. Tindo already did so much damage to us. And then he has Minato next round as well. Minato's pretty broken too because Minato interrupts everybody. There we go, 30 hits. Stopped his Osmo Windblade there. Nice combo. I just don't think we can survive the AoE is the problem. Shark Bomb into May here. 
It's not bad. Mabui gets revived. Takes out his Hashirama. Might be pretty close. Uh, but the problem is Minato's going to interrupt all of our mysteries. Okay, Sage Naruto's mystery goes off. Nice. Conan goes down. So that's a combo on the fire main up there. Tariku goes down. Next turn he has Daedra. And Minato, probably. Oh, we stopped Daedra. Very nice. And then we have Tintin. Okay, here comes Tendo. Very close. It's gonna be. It's gonna be super close. Oh, we got. Oh, we have Hashirama. Nice. That actually helps out a lot. Okay, there goes this Mabui down. Okay, here comes Minato, probably. Yep, here's Minato. Ooh, ouch. I was scared of Minato, man. Minato, Minato don't play. You guys know how good Minato is. He don't need no introduction. This is so close, man. I think we're going to win, though, I think. Yes, Minato goes down. I think we're actually going to get there, guys. He still has Daedra though, Daedra and uh, Roshi. Oh, stop this Daedra again. Kushimaru MVP. Great Ninja War Tintin goes off there. Nice damage. He has Tendo again. Oh, crap. So much AoE. Oh, here comes uh, Toby Rama. The Water Dragon Jutsu. Yeah, I think we yeah we won definitely now. There's no way we can lose now. Yep, we won. Nice. So I went two and one. Not bad. I saw that dude's lineup, but I didn't think I was gonna be able to win that battle. 
And that got a similar power to Mon, too. Like, like I have 149,000. He had 145,000. So, you could pretty much say that he, he, even though his team was more pay to win, I still won with a free to play lineup. So, I did manage to beat one uh, pay to win player at least. So, there you go. A free to play team beat a pay to win team. So, but there you go. That was some free-to-play gameplay using, or some ranked battle gameplay using a free-to-play, using free-to-play teams. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next Nard Online video. And later.